Wow, wow, wow. <coughs> Gonna put you've got feathers up your bum hole. Wow, Misha's had a boob job with a pair of socks. Ooh. Hello everyone and welcome back. Hi, I might actually rearrange my ring light a little bit. Oh no, because then you can see it in the mirror. So that's not a very good idea. But hello, hi, welcome. My name is Misha Grimes and today for this Super Haul Sunday I'm going to be bringing you guys a slightly different haul. I have not hauled this brand for quite a while. I'm not quite sure why because they are one of my absolute favourites and they are very reasonably priced which we all like to hear. So that is boo. It's currently upside down, sorry. Um, but they've got this new really cute packaging. Like, look at her go. It's like a little prom queen moment, which kind of perfectly loops into this video. So, I do actually have a discount code of Boohoo, which is Misha30, which will get you 30% off the new in section and occasion wear because they are sponsoring this video, which is very exciting. We love a discount code, Misha30, caps lock, to save yourself some money on the new in and the occasion wear, apart from sale and within the UK this is. So, okay, yes. Back to kind of like the topic of like prom, occasion wear, that is the theme of this haul. So I do feel like we are coming up to the time where everyone is starting to look at, whether it be prom dresses or ball dresses for like summer balls or you know I thought there's so many different occasions that we dress up throughout the year and I just feel like you know we need something more positive to focus on right now than the dreary disgusting English weather so we're gonna get excited for the slightly more summery season but some of these pieces would be perfect to wear even now so yes I've just got a selection of pieces to show you that would be great for prom balls birthdays, parties, going to Tesco's, whatever you fancy. So let's get a wiggle on and show you what I picked up from Boohoo. Okie dokie. Now, I do have a very sassy ponytail on today, so I'm a bit hair flippy, that is why. But I do actually have two bags worth of stuff because, whoopsies. I like to laugh. Now, okay, I'm pretty gonna go to the thing that most stood out to me on the website and that was this cohort. Now, where is the blazer? Um, I'm confused, I'm confused. Okay, I managed to lose the bottom half, top half, I'll be back. Found it. This is a like tweed Chanel inspired cohort. It's a little cropped blazer and then it has these fabulous matching pantaloons great word pantaloons there uh, but it basically is like a wide leg trouser uh now they also put this in like a blackish color um for if you're after a slightly more darker tone but i am obsessed with this i think it's absolutely beautiful i think it looks so expensive and you could wear this with like no top underneath and make it like a little sexy party moment or you could wear this with like a really big exaggerated like sleeved ruffled shirt and if you worked somewhere that was quite cool and hip and trendy and you were allowed to wear tweed metallic suits to work then this would be perfect. Um, I'm going to sit at home at my desk in my tweed metallic suit with probably a nightgown on at the top because my entire house is freezing. That's the joys of living in an old fashioned home. As in not old fashioned, but as in like, it, the house is old. You know what I mean? Anyway, so yes, I just think this is absolutely beautiful. The quality is there. It's belted, it's wide legged. Like honestly, absolutely stunning, obsessed with it. And you know, we don't just have to go for a dress. Yes, we love a dress moment, but sometimes you wanna go for something a little bit different. So you wear those pants, you wear that suit, you do that, you go Glen Coco. Boo who? I can well and truly say you have killed the game with this cohort. Okay, so we have on these big trousers and then the blazer. Now, I'm assuming because I'm a little bit shorter um, that, or maybe because I think I got the jacket in a size too big, but I think on the model there was a little bit more skin out. 
but you know me i don't mind having something a little bit more open so i would probably like stitch that together or wear like a little bralette underneath just so that i could get a little bit of skin out not that it looks bad not getting skin out but you know me i'm not really gonna go out in a full length full sleeved and not get some tiny bit of chest out i just can't help myself so oh my god i'm in love with this i feel like a sassy businesswoman with the ponytail with the blazer with the shoulder padding honestly this is absolutely incredible if you can get your hands on this get your hands on this before it sells out so it is like a double blazer that just does up and then on the trousers um it's basically like a little tie um paper bag waist situation then it just you know is a normal back the legs are really nice and floaty like they're quite wide on my thighs which you know i appreciate and then it goes down to a full length but honestly this is such a sassy timeless piece that you could see in places like zara for like 150 quid i reckon anyway okay now i'm actually realizing i've got quite a few cohorts whoopsies it can't be helped but let's go to like your typical kind of like what a lot of people kind of went for um in terms of color palette for my prom i feel like a lot of people either go for like nude or black so if you are slightly more reserved then this is the perfect piece for you but then also it's all about your banging body in it so you know kind of like the plainness of the pattern and um color and fabric is made up for in the banging shape so this is a off the shoulder strapless off the shoulder no it doesn't have arms it's a strapless bandage nude dress now this bandage feels absolutely great i've never tried bandage from boohoo you guys know i'm very like oh about bandage i never know how i feel about it because for me i never feel like i am hourglass enough for it but we're trying things out we're doing something a bit different and i think hopefully it'll look great so yes it's got like this detailing around the um bust waist area which is great because that's where it will draw the eye and then it goes down to a maxi length but you may notice this beautiful slit going up the front um i love this color nude because it's not gonna wash you out even if you are slightly more fair um because it's like a slightly darker than my own skin tone um obviously if i fake tanned it'd be slightly closer but I just think the hue of this nude is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I just thought, you know, we need to try out a maxi let dress. We need to try something a little bit different. It's very sexy. And I'm very intrigued to see how I'm going to look in it. It's slightly fishtailed at the bottom. But I just think it looks great. And a very classic piece to go for. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a dark horse. Okay, so here we have the nude bodycon now i love this little detailing that it's got going on across here i think it's really flattering um and then we come down to the bodycon dress and i actually really like it and like for me to a like a nude dress be like a bodycon dress see a long bodycon dress is very 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 out of character but i just think it's really flattering and it actually makes me look a little bit more shapely than i am which is great now if i really wanted to i could steal a pair of mum's bum pants and you know i could give myself all the lumps and bumps in all the right places but i actually really like this and then here is it like a side on view here is it from the back does bodycon flatter my bum oh actually i quite like the back here we go so yeah it's slightly lower at the back oh this actually looks great with the ponytail like oh my god this looks oh my god wow i was not expecting this it really suits the ponytail wow 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 yes i will do a little like side on video so you guys can see the bottom half of it obviously it's really hard to show on youtube with the angles yada 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 but i do love the split it just adds like another extra factor like i feel like the dress is already beautifully stunning classic and sexy but that is like the va va voom of the slits so yeah i am so obsessed with this and i was not expecting it so that makes it even better also we all know i don't have very big boobs and like it's staying up they feel secure like it's not as if it's too big for me on the boobs and it's dragging them down actually fits really freaking well yay 
Okay, now throwing every part of classic out of the window, I have this dress. Now, this is for the more OTT of you out there. The people that like a little bit of Shazam, a little bit of sparkle, this is your dress. So, <coughs> I don't know where that came from. I don't know if one of those feathers, one of the feathers from the dress went down my throat and then made me sneeze, but don't know how I managed that. This is a spark. Oh my god, this looks stunning under the ring light. This is a sparkly, low cut, low back, midaxi or like midi length, long sleeved, silver sequin, feathered, furred, stunning monstrosity is how I would describe it personally. I just thought this was so so jazzy. I could not miss it out just because you know not everyone wants to be subtle some of us want to give those dame edna vibes and i'm all about those dame edna vibes um i like how it's like a medaxi length because i just think you know you've got a lot out at the front you've got a lot out of the back so it being slightly longer just probably makes you feel a little bit less like oh i've got everything on display but if you want to put everything on display you put all of your bits on display because it's your display to have yes Nice little speech there, Misha. Anyway, yeah, love all the different textures on the dress. I just think it looks really unique and I'm obsessed with it. Va, va, voo. Okay, now, I thought I would quite like this, but I didn't expect to like it so much. Now, the only problem is, again, no one is in the house, so I don't have anyone here to do up the little button at the back. So if I accidentally flash a boob, I apologise. Hopefully we'll make it through okay. But this is so sassy. I love the long sleeves. I'm so glad this is long sleeve because I think that's where the impact is. Um, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously the back is a little bit more covered up than this when it's done up. But you get the gist. This is what the length is looking like. It's really nice just over the knee calf height. And it does have a little split at the back. Which just makes it easier for you to be able to walk in. Because otherwise you might be like waddling around. But no. So, so freaking jazzy. I think it's insane. Yas, yas. Yeah. Again, reverting something slightly more subtle. Say you could wear this dressed up, dressed down. You could wear this on a holiday with sandals. You could wear this in knee-high boots. The world's your oyster. So this is a raunt. Ra I never said that. Ruched, ruched, not raunched. Ruched sleeve satin play suit in sand. They have this in quite a few different colours, but for me, it's an even like richer nude gold tony brown thing i really am not good at color descriptions but no i think this is absolutely beautiful it's got like a low front then it has the rouging around the um waistband then it goes down to a little pair of shorts and then the arms have like a drop hem shoulder and then this beautiful detailing on the sleeve i think this just looks so expensive uh, and it is a very much timeless piece because it is one that you could bring in your suitcase if you had a very small luggage allowance and you could dress in five different ways and make it look so different um so absolutely beautiful i love the color detailing as well i think that makes it look a little bit more smart obsessed with this completely okay so i've got on this like look at the color this is absolutely blinking beautiful now can that label go away i think it's getting stuck to my hair now obviously it is quite a low v but it does naturally cover more of you but obviously you could make it cover less or you could pin it to make sure it stays secure then we come down to these little billowy shorts now i would do misha's go-to saying that every seems to be picking up on lately and that is add a belt i just add a belt or oh, i think this could be doing with a belt and everyone always disagrees with me and doesn't want me to add a belt to everything but i just can't help it i love a belt so yeah but you don't obviously need to um i do think with this kind of thing i would maybe add like a chain metal like gold detailed belt like a little hangy one um also i first put it on i was like oh my god the sleeves are so cute like i love this big billowy sleeve and then i realized that obviously they're rouged sleeves 
so you can kind of do whatever you really fancy like you can have the sleeve more billowy or you can have the sleeve more like this i actually think i might prefer them a bit more billowy um but it's nice because you have the option so then you just pull that out there we go i just think this is so pretty it looks so expensive and it's so comfy like it's one of those pieces that you just know that you have that you can just chuck on and feel really good in which is always useful to have okay now going to something for a slightly more like springtime vibe oh i actually might wear this to the wedding i have coming up is this little co-ord we know I love me a co-ord. So it is this floral pair of shorts. It's the most beautiful like pink, pe is it peonies? I'm pretty sure these are peonies. Let me know, is that a peony? I'm pretty sure it is. Peony shorts um, and they're all my favorite colors. We've got some pink, some white, some orange in there. So beautiful and they're very nice fitted little shorts and then it has the matching blazer. This is a very similar shape to the um, tweed Chanel style blazer. Um, this has some shoulder pads in it and some rouging on the shoulder which will create a beautiful shape it's like a nice low front cut it's a double buttoned obviously you could again wear this with nothing underneath or you could put a big exaggerated pink blouse with it to make it a little bit more covered up but you have the flexibility you also can obviously wear the shorts by themselves the jacket by itself i just i don't know why more people don't love cohorts like i do because i just think that's such a clever invention so yeah really really beautiful i love 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 the color palette and the pattern i just think it looks great okay so i knew that i would like these boohoo pieces but i did not realize how much i would like them so here we have this little floral cohort now the shorts are lovely they're not that sort of fabric that's like really unflattering on the leg they just really nicely sit there they are a little bit loose on the waist but nothing like a little bit of nipping and tucking couldn't do and then this is the blazer now it has this buttoning detail but i would probably have it undone and then just put like a stitch there so I can make it a little bit more wide. Hi Anya. What's it called? How oh. cute is it? Cars on the side of the road. Why? Halfway. Hello, very sorry. Not quite sure what we last got up to, but Anya's car broke down. So just had that to deal with. Anyway, back to the haul. She's fine, don't worry, the car's fine. It's just broken on the side of the road. But anyway, okay, yes, so I personally probably would have this blazer looser, just because you know me, I like to get some chest out, but it is beautiful just the way it is. It's like not too cropped that like if you lift your boobs are going to come out, which is great because if you did go braless, you don't want to flash a nip necessarily. This is what the back looks like. Oh, wow. My bum actually looks really nice in these shorts because they go right up the crack. But no, obsessed with this. Feels very chic. Also, you could obviously like cinch up the arms. You could wear a top underneath. Like it is just beautiful entirely. Yes. And I also actually have a pair of shoes to match. You might have seen that I recently picked up one of these like kitten heel strappy little, you know, this new shoe that's all over everywhere. And I am kind of starting to vibe it loads. So they're very practical. They aren't too high. I feel like, especially when I went to prom, um, I was the only one really that wore really high heels. Even one of my best friends wore flat sandals because she didn't want to wear heels. She, you know, that's, that's your prerogative that if you don't want to wear heels or if you want to wear a small heel or a huge heel just wear whatever you're going to be comfortable in um because there is many nights out i've gone on where i've regretted wearing my biggest heels and i'm slightly starting to become a bit more sensible so i thought these would be perfect and they should also go really nicely with the co-ord so love me a bit of hot pink i got these in a size six and you know they're like a very classy low heel even though they're hot pink you know hot pink can be classy people okay so you get to see my lovely feet which have the worst oh let's not even talk about these fake tan marks it's actually a sick joke so let's pop on the shoe now am i being dumb i think i'm being dumb oh my god my fake tan on my feet is actually appalling i apologize everyone that's having to look at my toes right now at least i cut my toenails though so I'm assuming 
it works like so okay brilliant how freaking cute are these heels oh my god they're so so sweet i absolutely love them obviously you put that detail down but no these are adorable they are quite a wide fit so if you have quite skinny feet then maybe these aren't for you but if you are a wide footed person these will be your absolute dream oh yeah i also got myself a bow because i just think you know wherever you want to put it however you want to put it whether you want to put it in your hair on a ponytail i just think a bow is a timeless piece and i could literally pop it here i could oh my god it would be so cute at the back of my ponytail how adorable or like you know a little side motion or if you did the typical misha hair where i like to try and pretend to be ariana grande and then pops it up there or you could even pop it on your outfit just these bows are such a versatile and great thing to have in your drawers so you can just jazz up something really really easy which is so useful <gasps> i forgot about this co-ord oh my godness me i swear i literally just got co-ords but okay this is so beautiful and kind of gives me like bridal vibes so it's this beautiful ivory Bod bodice would we call this would we call this a bodice it's kind of like underwear as outerwear this is called the boohoo occasion cupped double breasted bralette um, and it's in this beautiful rich color i need to stop saying rich but they just look so expensive i love that it's kind of like a fabric that you wouldn't necessarily go for in this kind of like piece with like the big straps the big buttons it's like a weird crossbreed between a top a bra and almost like a little blazer moment um because of those buttons honestly obsessed with it and then the bottoms are again another wide leg we know i love a wide leg i'm not really into a skinny leg um and these are the most stunning satin pocketed trousers and at the bottom it has some poppers now do we recall when popper trousers were really on trend and i feel like that trend has died but these are really classy versions and actually they don't like pop up they're only open but i just think it kind of adds a little bit more to a full length trouser um and also it then marries up the buttons on the bodice to the buttons on the trouser so classy so bougie definitely something a bit different to wear for a special occasion i hope you guys love that as much as i do hello from a very sexy yet suave feeling misha okay so i've got the little top on it is so so cute i love the detailing of the buttons i love the bra detail now i do need chicken fillets in here like my boobs do not fill this um but it's an eight so that's why so when i'm like this it's like that but if i put let's just use a pair of socks as an example i think mum stole my chicken fillets so how much do we think is equal probably two socks is equal to a chicken fillet oh wow okay yeah yeah there we go okay and then my boobs fill it and wow misha's had a boob job with a pair of socks so yeah here is the top it's really really cute um and then we move down to the trousers now the trousers fit really nicely they're not like too tight considering it's satin it can sometimes be a bit iffy and they just come down like so they also don't give me a camel toe they're not see-through this is what the back looks like i feel like do they look they actually look semi-decent on my bum. Um, and then, what I did not realise... Also, do we like my roses 21? <laughs> I'm going to have to wait for my birthday vlog to see all about that. Um, I didn't realise that the trousers at the bottom, the like, splitting and the buttons is actually down the centre. So this is going to be really hard to show you. But, okay. Don't judge the position I'm about to get into. Can we see that it opens at the front which i think just looks really unique and cute um so pa 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 pop on a pair of heels bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt 
this is a really great look and i just feel like it's a bit different i'm really i'm honestly obsessed with this co-ord she being misha she did have to pick up something um very feathered so i got this hot pink feather skirt i just think you know who doesn't love a little bit of pink a little bit of feather i think it's absolutely beautiful it does look like it's come up a little bit big but that might just be because i'm looking at like the feathers rather than the actual shape of the skirt so we will see when i pop it on but no stunning lovely it also goes really well with the bow so you know maybe you wear the bow as a top i'm not quite sure that would work out but no i have so many skirts like this um that i just think are really good to jazz up any like plain top because you know we don't just need jeans in a nice top we need a feather skirt and a nice top you know god i picked up is one of these now in my last sunday's video you might recall that i mentioned that any opportunity i have to pick up a belt like this i will so this is the perfect thing to have in your wardrobe to jazz up any outfit and any item to be appropriate for a special occasion and it is another one of these metallic shiny Barkley belts and honestly there's not much more you could want in life than a sparkly belt that's absolutely stunning so yeah i just thought it was a real good piece to feature within this video because you could wear it pretty much all of the pieces and if you had something in your wardrobe already that you liked but you wanted to add a bit more glitter to then this is perfect higher so i've still got the blazer on but i've popped it on with the skirt now i wouldn't necessarily put these together but you get the gist so for some reason this skirt has come up quite big i could wear it just like this um but it, maybe it's just supposed to be quite low waisted and then it is quite a long skirt it still looks so cute but i would naturally want to like roll it up a little bit and then maybe pop on a belt so you just can't see that little detail but it is absolutely adorable like the feathers look so so cute even if i just grab the sparkly belt to give us an idea of what it could look like um i would just maybe size down in this skirt maybe it's just because of the feathers it comes up a little bit baggy but I mean, there you go. We get the gist. It looks so fab with the sparkly belt. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like a little pixie. Um, more like a little feathery animal. Um, and then the back is just the plain satin, um, which I actually appreciate because otherwise I feel like when you sit down, you're going to feel like you've got feathers up your bum hole, which isn't really what I'm going for. So no, obsessed with this little skirt. I think it is the sweetest thing ever. Then the final thing I have to show you is a, another pair of heels. Now these are a slightly higher heel. Um, they still look mega, mega comfy. They've got really spongy soles. Um, and I just thought we'd bring some feather into the shoes. I don't know if you can see that very well because it is black. But black heels are just an absolute staple to have in your wardrobe. I really don't have good like going out party shoes. And I'm really trying to build that collection. So I'm praying that these are comfortable. They look like they would be because they're not too high. Um, and they've also got very supportive straps, which is exactly what we need. But no, I'm very excited to try these out. OMG, these are so pretty. They are also really comfortable and just so freaking cute. I love the black feathers. They're very supportive. And the heel is really not too high. So I would recommend these if you're looking to spice up your black heel wardrobe collection situation thing you about me. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to love you guys and leave you. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the pieces that I picked up from Boohoo. Make sure to check out all the links down below for all of the pieces I have featured. And don't forget my discount code MISHA30 to save 30%. I said 30 really weirdly then. To save 30% on new in and occasion wear in the uk but not on sale items so i'm gonna love you guys and leave you make sure to do a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video oh and p.s i'm so sorry for not uploading a video on thursday but as you may know my birthday was actually on wednesday of this week and i was just crazy all over the place and yeah so i will be having my birthday vlog coming on tuesday then an exciting video on thursday and my what i got for my birthday next sunday so stay tuned i love you guys a lot and i will see you in my next video bye guys bye